to like unsupported parents and this whole thing and i was just like oh my god and then at the end of the day i changed the whole story i changed everything and that's where it was like really like the best for me and oh my god girl just to tell you literally yesterday i had every day i set an intention to like receive something yeah so yesterday i was like I intended to receive a free cup of coffee mm-hmm. or like a free drink or whatever and I was going to work and um late throughout the day I was like all of a sudden I got the urge to get something um from this coffee place that I really like and I was like why I don't know why like I just you know inspired action I want to call it because it was so weird how I was just like all of a sudden randomly like okay let me go get a drink and then I go up and they're like, oh no, like it's you can have it. It's fr- it's fine. Yeah. And I was like, and I totally forgot that I sent the intention for the day until like you kind of receive your manifestation and you're like, oh, okay. And I yeah. feel like I've gotten to the point where now at this point I'm not even surprised. I just like I kind of it gives me the reminder and it builds up more belief in myself because I'm a very logical thinker. For so sure. Logical I know what you mean. Or logical yeah logical thoughts want to come in i'm like no but look i manifested this like i did this and that kind of depowered and derails my logical thinking which is such a great thing yeah i mean at the end of the day i think it's magical in every way like known to man and so i pressed go on this i'm going to allow people to come in but i think in all honesty um we are going to just we're just going to start you know we're we're not going to waste any time we have a ton to say so we're already live i've got i've got people coming on and obviously you guys can share this out to your friends today we have our engagement success story coming on and getting her engagement and how many how much period of time would you say from the time you started to apply my teachings like sincerely how long did it take you to overcome those circumstances so sincerely uh around i always like to say I sincerely started. because you know we we, would, we don't yeah. want to count the times that we weren't <laughs> actually doing it <laughs> no for sure for sure it was around the third week of july when i had bought your journal and third then to literally saturday of last week so that's last two weeks long. girl is that really two weeks yeah because third week of july means there's only one week in july and then if it was one week from this month that means there's only two weeks in august right so yeah so three weeks oh, yeah, actually no, 21 right. days yeah, like three weeks. 21, day, uh, 21 yeah. days the journal that's in the link in my bio she coupled that with the teachings um that are actually embedded into manifestation university so you can say that she coupled the teachings from there understood how to create rules about how manifestation and law of assumption works for her and with the resources all coupled together in 21 short days she went from her partner not wanting to be with her because her parents would not approve of him to having and this is no contact no contact at all imagine how amazing this story is all the way into he came to her house got down on one knee proposed to her and said you are the love of my life the love of my life baby yep so we're gonna get into it today we've got we're on a little bit of a time crunch because your girl got to be in a meeting at 12 40 so we're gonna get to all the things and we're gonna get to them and if we need to do a part two we're gonna do it but if you guys are interested in things like that like MU strategy calls are also in the bio. We are upgrading to the highest level and now every admission gets calls with me as well. So it's gonna be super fun. And I'm just glowing for my girl right here. She showed us her ring in my Facebook group. (laughs) Opal. Opal is October baby and I'm an October baby. I'm not sure if anyone else Mm -hmm. is, but to die for. Oh, I love it so much, but I'm not, I'm not going to take any more time. I'm just giving you a little intro and I'm going to let you take it away. So I want to, I want to hear all the tea girl. And I want you to give these people some wisdom and knowledge here. Okay. I got you. Oh my God. First of all, the ring, I'm an opal baby too. So that's why he knows that I love it. So I was like, this man knows me. We love an aware king. You know what I mean? We love an aware king. We do. Okay. So a little bit background of me and my partner. We've been together since october of 2021 got it so we've been together for a a cool minute now and ever since that i first like met him and we first interacted when i tell you this man and me had this connection where it was just like at that moment like we kind of knew 
that we really wanted to be together. And like, we kind of took it where it was like, okay, like, I really, we had this intense connection, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It was an intense connection. And I kind of, when I first saw him, I kind of knew that this, I was like, I told myself literally in my mind, this is the man I'm going to marry this is it like this is it so many people and describe it that way same way about me i love yeah. that and it, it really is so true like really once you late i didn't have to talk to this man i was like i just knew it and my heart knew it and you know all that good feeling and things like that so we've never had really like a lot of issues until like my parents started to come into play so let me tell you a little bit about that so my parents are very i'm i come from a mexican um household where it's like uh even certain looks or the way you act or even the simple fact that you don't speak spanish it's uh like i guess a bad thing can unquote. i be invited to the and barbecue still oh hell yeah okay thank you all right good Girl, thank you don't worry i got you <laughs> just kidding i'm kidding keep yeah. going my intrusive <laughs> thoughts were running wild and that was just me acting on my intrusive thoughts keep going <laughs> no you're good you're good i i love it i love a good back and forth anyway yeah so um as well as with my partner, uh, he's transitioned now into a guy, if that okay. makes any sense. Yes. So they does. were very, very, did not like that. Got at it. All. And when I had came out to my parents as well at the time, they were super unsupportive, super neglecting. And it was a lot for me and my partner to have to go through that yeah. and like their own transition as well. So they started transitioning, uh, april of this month okay this year my bad and that's when really it kind of hit us with the whole him having to get his shots him having to do all of this stuff understand and then around may um there was an incident where he had came over Mm -hmm. because of um he just wanted to come over just to come over and my parents were at home and my sisters were home. So we were all just sitting on the couch, like having a good time watching a movie. Yeah. And then my parents just kind of walk in and then they see us and they're like, what the hell is he doing here? You know that we don't like him. You know that we want anything to do with him. Like you, he's being, you guys are setting such a bad influence for your, um, my two sisters. Yeah. They're like, get, get out. And they were like, at that point, like shoving him out of the house. And they were like, and I kind of went after him, kind of went to his car. And we had a sit down conversation in the car where at that point he was bawling his eyes out mm. and saying like you know what like at this point i'm accepting that your parents are never gonna accept me that they're never gonna like like support me and you and for him that was a deal breaker because for us both of us family is a really big thing to both of us so when we like we're in relationships we want our other persons like partners to like us and for him that was a deal breaker because he thought that he could get through it and that we were going to get through it. However, he was like, nope, it's too much. Like, I can't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I love you, but I cannot be with you if your parents are, like, like this. And I yeah. need to take my own space and my own journey because he's going through his own, like, of journey course. himself. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. So, it was, it was devastating. And I remember having to leave the car. And he was like, you know what? He, uh, he was like, I, I, I don't want to, like, speak with you. Like, I don't want to talk to you right now. Like, I really need to see my face. Like, leave me alone. And I remember leaving off and I was crying. I was bawling my eyes out. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. No, it's okay. He was just like, he was just like, um, he was like, maybe in another life, things like that could have been different. I was like, don't say that. Because mind you, like, I had never, our relationship was literally something out of a fairy tale. I know. When I'm telling you, this man treated me. He, and I've always had like that. I've always grew up with Disney and loving, like, hoping for that unconditional love and for me to finally see kind of how i manifested my relationship with yeah him, for sure relationship with him was crazy and i was like i don't want to lose this especially from this stupid ass cir- i'm sorry for like the language but no, it's like, okay. like that stupid circumstance you know and it yeah. just, it's not fair for me to lose everything that i've ever really wanted just because of them yeah and i c- came back to the house claimed back your power like, you know yeah I came back and I was like falling and I did not leave my room for like a week. No lie. Yeah. I was just on TikTok. He had blocked me. He he blocked me. He removed his location. Everything. And I was devastated and I was so sad. And I was like, okay. And then later, uh, my friends were getting me out of the house, trying to cheer me up. And I was like, okay. So then that all happened what was April and May. And then in June... Mm-hmm. I had he had met up with me 
saying that because he had accidentally touched um, my money and he spent it on accident and he was like oh like I'm so sorry like I'll pay you back so we had met up in like June 9th I want to say like for the first time after like kind of like a week of not really talking at all and then he just like kind of came and we kind of met in like this park that's kind of nearby my house because he did not want to be anywhere near my parents or, or my house does that make sense yeah for sure and yeah and I felt so bad for him too you know like it wasn't just me it was him yeah as well and he just kind of looked at me and he did he was so cold so different like this man did a complete 180 on me and I was just like I understand that you're hurt but you're also like kind of hurting me in the same way you know and then um it was June like 12 I think okay that when a video of yours popped up on my TikTok page talking about uh the law of assumption manifestation like kind of like 101 and I was intrigued and I was like okay what what's this girl talking about and then I kind of proceeded to go on your page and a little bit background story about me and manifestation. I've heard of it, but it was more, you know, law of attraction things like, oh, let it go. And if it comes back, it was meant for you. Yeah, things makes like sense. That. But I never got really too much in the community. Got of it. Manifestation, I'm going to be honest, because I was like, this is a load of BS. Like, there's no I way felt call, the you know? same way, girl. But, you don't. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what you mean. I went through that as well. <laughs> yeah. So then I had watched that TikTok. And I kind of like scroll. I did my, I did, I scrolled down. I had nothing better to do. I had scrolled down. And for like the next two weeks, I was just consuming your content, like obsessively. And I was like, oh my God. Like it all clicked for me. And I did like little, I did like little, whatchamacallit. I brought in little things. Like I had told myself one morning, I want to see a green neon car, which you yeah. don't see very often, right? And I had set that intention on a Friday, and then literally that same Sunday, three days later, I see this mean green car at a car meet. Love that. And I was like, at first, at first, you know, you try to tell yourself it's just a coincidence, like you know, like there's no way in hell. And then I started again, saying I wanted to see a pink elephant. And then, literally that same day, my mom buys me a bracelet of this really cute little charm with a pink elephant on it. That's and at that point, I was like, yeah, like, absolutely no way. Maybe Persis like, knows something, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. probably, it was like, mm, maybe maybe she knows what she's talking about. That's interesting, you know? I was like, this girl is speaking my language at this point? I was like, okay. So then, I had been working, I know you had talked about self-concept. So then I kind of did a deep dive on what that really meant. And not like a lot of people, I feel like confuse self-concept or self-love and Correct. You know, things like that. Correct. And it's like, okay, it, those are great things to have, but right. that's not what your self-concept is. Correct. So then those two weeks, I really started to like really work on my self-concept, like talking about things that I always wanted and kind of uh, really like just working on myself and where my limiting beliefs were at at the time. And then I had saw that you had your journal and I was like and I saw it on on Amazon yeah and that's when I had purchased it but for some reason the order kept getting delayed and delayed so then I finally came in July it's always week. selling out girl I saw I have people yeah. from like Spain telling me why isn't it available I'm like you got to call customer service if your country is saying it's out of stock because it's technically a print on demand and so sometimes I think they just have these like weird phases that they go through. But the journal is such a great mm-hmm. supplement to an yeah. actual routine. You know what I mean? I know you had a couple of different products that were able to get you over that hump. But the journal is a great yeah. starting place to get you baseline information, structure, a routine, and different things like that going. But please keep going. You know, mm-hmm. this is amazing. <laughs> no you're good and yeah so it, it was just a delaying until it finally came in and then it talked about your manifestation equation oh 
the basis of You're MU, right. basically. <laughs> the basis of mm-hmm. MU. <laughs> the basis yeah. of all of manifestation, really. Because the manifestation equation, I'm just popping in for quick moments because some people are also like, I want to clarify to them because I know we have a, a lot of new people on actually that the manifestation equation is actually how I became like very popular, very famous, I guess you could say, is I mm-hmm. invented a re- equation that I have since copywritten and taken off the internet because it was formerly out there for free. But then a lot of creators mm-hmm. tried to take it, steal it, monetize it, pass it off as their own. And so I had to remove it. And now it is private just for the people who are in my programs or personal coaching. The beauty of the manifestation or the attraction equation, however you'd want to identify it as, is that it is the exact equation you need to understand what limiting beliefs, what assumptions are blocking you from finally getting what you want. The reason that that is so powerful is when you know because we have millions of beliefs. When you know the exact beliefs that are imparting you, like that are blocking you from having what you exactly want, you now have your answer key to what you need to shift to get everything that you want. So it's very important to understand why you're not moving forward despite all the exertion, routine, effort, and techniques that are going on. Because the truth of the matter is the techniques are just there as supplemental resources. But maybe you're not Mm -hmm. shifting the right beliefs, Maybe you're lacking the discipline. Maybe you're lacking the education. Maybe you're lacking the structure because any client I've ever worked with has not taken longer than 90 days to manifest what they want despite extreme circumstances. I'm talking women who have come into my world and started with no money and manifested millions. Zzz, 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 plural, <laughs> by the end of 30 days. A gentleman came into my world and did three billion in crypto after 30 days using this equation. You know what I mean? Like my girls get their money up. My boys get their money up using this equation. And this equation is something that's transferable. So once you have access to that equation, literally the world is your oyster. Because then you have the answer key to get exactly what you want the way that you want. And then the rest of coaching or the rest of the program is literally just a step-by-step-by-step bulletproof shortcut cheat sheet, however you want to put it, techniques of how to shift those beliefs really easily, how to shift those beliefs faster, how to self-soothe, how to give yourself the comfort, what is the actual process of shifting a belief or assumption. And when you get those things singing in harmony, when your self-concept is on point with what you want to attract, when you actually feel good and anticipatory about attracting it, when you stop validating the circumstances and the reasons for why you cannot have it, when you craft the identity that is going to attract it all to you, time collapses. Time collapses really quick. And a lot of people don't believe the success stories and the time frame that it happens. But then I bring on people and this girl like did what she did in 21 days. You know what I mean? And it's just incredible because she had a lot stacked against her. But it was her refusal. And I think that's the correct word. And correct me if I'm wrong. It was her refusal of accepting that reality and going all in on herself that got her these results in 21 days because information without discipline, it's just mental masturbation. (laughs) It's literally nothing. It's not gonna get you anywhere. It's not going to help improve your life in any way. Like Mm -hmm. you gotta have the education, you gotta have the application, and you gotta have the Mm -hmm. discipline to do it because manifestation requires that. It requires that to do it on a good day, to do it on a bad day. If everyone... You do it when you're tired. Exactly. You do it when you're tired. You do it when you're weak. You do it when things are not happening. Because if you're going to get bullied by your 3D, the bully's going to keep coming back and giving you a wedgie. You know what I mean? It's going to keep coming back and (laughs) giving you a wedgie. It's like you can't just have Mm -hmm. discipline when things are working out. Because the real winners, they had discipline on the day that they had no reason to believe. They dug deep and they found that grit. They found that force within them. They allowed what they wanted to lead them and be like, you know what? I'm tired of my life. I'm tired of things looking this way. I don't accept this. And that's what makes a winner. But please continue. 
No, no, you're not absolutely right. I have always been somebody who's never taken no easily as an answer. Um, I work in sales. So all I ever hear is no, 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 no. And when I tell you that even the manifestation equation, now I'm going to start using it for money. Um, but back to like the general gist, like I was like, no, I do not accept this. I do not want this. I know that I absolutely can. The journal was when I was writing in the journal, I was like, really like, um, when you're have your like your first couple, couple of pages of the journal, mm -hmm. I was like, this girl is about to change my life. Oh, yeah. And then I had journaled out my self concept and my concept of um, relationships in this case would be mine. And I felt like I've always had a pretty good idea. However, there were some limited beliefs that I've had to change. Like, for example, like, you know, the classic, if you wanted to, you would. Oh, yeah, um, I hate that belief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate that one too. And then one of one of my issues is one of my self concepts was that I have always had the generalized belief that not all good things last. Mm, and so for me, that's a good that, one. That belief was like I had changed it, made it my own for affirmation, saying that it is normal for good things to happen to me and for them to last because that is what I deserve. That is the exact affirmation that I was using. I love and that. Boy, Oh my God. I was also having to see where I was with my self concept. And I also had to change the beliefs about, like, you know, my parents saying that, you know what, I did a little bit of revising. And I had said that, okay, now they're like supported. Now they're loving that my um, partner gets along with them, that they love being with us, right? Love that. And then um, I think it was. I and I, I, I want to pause for two seconds. How difficult it. was it to believe that? Because some people are like, oh, but oh. I just can't believe it. It's like, but you got to like try. Uh, otherwise, your no, only option yeah. is just to accept what you have. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was very difficult. It was yeah. especially the generalized belief about my parents. I was like, in my brain, it was like, there's no way, Jose. Exactly. And for me, I was like, okay. I can either stay stuck in this story about them that's not going to serve me or as much as I don't even believe a single word that is coming out of my mouth or mm -hmm. like even if sometimes it's going to be difficult for me to see them in a in a better light it was either stay stuck or genuinely no matter how much you refuse it and then have a change what yeah. do you want you know, which one do you so want? Do you want your, for me. yeah. Do you want yeah. your new life or do you want your old life? You know what I mean? So many exactly. people, I want to validate that. And I want to bring that to everyone's attention that like some people tell me like, mm -hmm. but I can't believe it. And what I want to tell you is that no one did. No one mm -hmm. did before they mm -hmm. actually did. None of us were like mm -hmm. delusional, you know, like this is, yeah. this is a non-delusional community. And that's why I make science-based manifestation teachings to pull back the curtains of what to actually expect in the process of forming an assumption. And that's literally what I do in my coaching, in Manifestation University, in everything, in every resource I've ever made is I pull back the curtains of how to to form a new neural pathway, what a purge is, what resistance is, what opposite results are, how to get from partial manifestation to full manifestation, how to maintain and keep it permanently, how to placebo your mm -hmm. results, how to do things passively, how to become a magnet to what you want to attract, how to become chosen, how to become loved, cherished, how to be worshipped and adored, how to have the money chase you and not you chase it like everything there's a very specific process you need to do to unlock that result when you know how to do it your whole world becomes so much more open and right now like what she's saying is so important that like i want to validate that like no one that accomplished anything probably believed it but they refused their current reality and continued to tell the story of what they wanted to experience with conviction and the truth of the matter yeah. is the brain is not hardwired it's softwired anyone who knows a lot about neuroscience 
science knows that. Like your brain is malleable. The process of rewiring your brain is literally called neuroplasticity, meaning the flexibility of one's brain. The only reason you're so stuck now is because you keep firing and wiring stories that literally go against what you want to attract and then say, why am I not attracting it? And it's like, because of everything that you're doing right now. And it's like, (laughs) until we can start to tell new stories, until we can start to get the brain to feel more safe, until we can start to move things in this direction. I feel like one of those like people on an airplane, I know you can't see my emotions, but I hope that you like (laughs) rewatch parts of this because I feel like I'm that little girl that's like, on the freeway, like directing the plane, like you need to get things to go over here. You're getting things to go over here. This is why you're stuck, (laughs) you know, (laughs) but please keep going. I know I keep popping in, but I just want to validate that so hard. Really? No, you have really good points. And it's so true. Like I, it's, you have to want it. You have to want a different outcome or a different reality so much more then your a generalized circumstance, if yep. that makes so much sense. Oh my gosh. And I want it. I love it. I love it. You're singing, yeah. you're speaking my language, girl. You're speaking my <laughs> language, <laughs> you know, That's because it's like, saying. you got to want the new reality more than you want to stay stuck. And the, the tricky thing is that so many people say they want it, but then take action that goes against it then Mm self-sabotage like what could actually help them because part of their identity feels uprooted and it feels uncomfortable but change feels uncomfortable if i'm someone to give you a very short example if i'm someone who pops my knuckles 10 times a day and i start to stop i'm gonna feel really uncomfortable now imagine that with the thoughts you tell yourself and knowing that your brain is literally addicted to what it knows to be true, it's like 10 times more uncomfortable than my knuckle popping addiction. You know what I mean? So it's like when you start to actually go all in for resources that change your life, if you don't have that mentality, you're gonna be in in a world of trouble because you're gonna constantly feel like you're chasing something, but when you actually want the result, more than you care about temporary comfort, your life's going to change for the better. I can tell you that. I can guarantee you that. When you're refusing yeah. to and sit in your shit, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. So I was like, okay, that's it. And then I had mm. also bought something. I don't remember when it was, but I sent that email that I wanted your manifest your SP back um, fast ebook. Yeah. Right? So I had emailed your team and I was like, hey, like, I also, I remember you also offering on, I'm also on your Facebook page. So yes. I remember uh, if you said that if you bought the journal, you can get any of your uh, past, like the manifestation blueprint, um, some of yeah. the courses and things like that. So I remember I was like, oh, like I have, I bought the journal, you know, and I've been hearing about when I was looking through your past videos too, a lot about the ebook and how good it was and like all this type of stuff that yeah. you were talking about on it. So I was like, oh, like I want it. So I remember I had emailed them and said like, oh, like I'm interested in purchasing the, like the extended version. I bought the extended version. And I had said in that same email, I will be your next success story. That's and boy, was I right. Boy, was I right. Yeah. Anyways, but I had bought the ebook. I was reading it. I downloaded it. And then that's when you were talking about your Holy Trilogy. Mm, yeah. And, I, and the, Holy Trilogy. the game changer for me in that book was you can decide how manifestation works for you and when i decided that you know what all right it is easy because a lot of a lot of people have so much fear in this community like they have a lot of limiting beliefs when it comes to the law of assumption you know so for me i had made up my own manifestation rules of how it works for me and that it doesn't take me i had made some rules like i'm always in a favorable state that negative thoughts are not allowed to manifest. Like I can only manifest things that can bring me joy, love, abundance, and peace. Um, I've made my own rules like that. And yeah. I had did that that same weekend. And I had noticed some um, like movement from my SP. And I've noticed also a change in behavior with the world around me. Like I've always been somebody who's had a pretty good self-concept. However, it was just changing those like those limiting beliefs about myself, you know? And people started walking up to me. People started giving me random things. Like, I got, like, so many guys just 
and girls like just wanting to be with me like hitting me up on Aww. instagram and I, I was like everybody's coming in and i was so crazy and even with my parents i noticed a change in behavior with them that they were actually like a little bit more nicer to me they were like i don't know if it's because they felt bad at what they did like i'm like I, i'm pretty sure they did um because that's what i like had made it and like percepted it as Mm-hmm. And so the, there was a change with them and there was a change with my family and they were just being so much more nicer, so much kinder to me. And I was like, what's gotten up your, like, you know, like, what, what's up with this, you know? But, you know, like, yeah, like, I was like, but I knew, you know, what was up. And then yeah. I had gotten, like, for, like, uh, around the beginning of August, uh, so a little bit of hot and cold with my SP. Okay. Um, they were, they had unblocked me. Okay. However, they had made their accounts private uh-huh. on social media. Okay. And me and him had shared a Apple Music family plan that we both paid for. Right? <laughs> I and remember this part why, of the story. Keep going. Yeah. I remember. No, no, no. Yeah. I was getting my lashes done. Right? As I was doing does. a little maintenance week. And when I was done getting my lashes and I was about to sell my lash tech, as soon as I sell them, I got a notification saying my SP's name has removed you from your Apple Music family plan. The pettiness, the audacity. Was, the audacity. I was more upset. Like, like, let me tell you, I was more upset about losing my goddamn music than I was about him removing me. You know what's but so? I did not oh my me. god! No, this is so funny. I'm just interjecting for two seconds, like. Um, go for it, go for it, go for it. When, it's, funny. it's a funny thing. It is a really funny thing because why does that piss us off so much? It's almost like that offends us more. Because the truth of the matter is, like, <laughs> I'll give you an example. Like, even with my mm-hmm. ex, I had logged into his home TV system with my Netflix because he didn't have it. And so mm-hmm. we used to, like, watch and binge a ton of shows on his TV because I just signed into my Netflix in his house. And when when I ended things with him and when I walked away from that relationship because I was like I just deserve so much more than what I'm currently being provided with right now and I don't accept Mm this um it's so funny because this man would be on my Netflix account watching shows without me and because we had a specific time where we did it like at end of day after work was over and everything like that I was logging on at the same time, like we would be doing it together, but I was at my place and he was at his place. And I literally couldn't even watch my shows because he had already logged into the account and I don't have that two screen oh situation. God. And I was fuming. I was like, why? I'm thinking to myself, like, why are you even on my account, bro? Why are you even like watching this? Like, how can you watch <laughs> this actually? Knowing that this is my freaking account. <laughs> like, I was, I was oh fuming. Oh my God, that's so funny. Oh my god. I, that's why like that that part of the story is always like forever got me like cackling because I was like why does that piss us off so much? But it does. <laughs> it does. And the first no. night I didn't do anything. He did the same thing the second night. I was like, "Bro, you've got to be kidding me." So now I start to race home instead of having an adult conversation and I start to get on before him so he's basically like not on. And after a week this was still happening so then i finally broke and at that point in time i changed my password <laughs> it was so funny oh my god it was so funny please keep going so funny no yeah you're you're oh my god that was hilarious and i was at that moment i did give myself i'm gonna give i'm gonna be honest i gave myself a minute I yeah gave myself a minute i was letting myself be upset that i was not gonna have my apple music and i had to listen to ads but however i still accepted the fact that i was i was refusing to pay just to get my Apple Music back because I knew that things were gonna work out between us. So that was also another thing. But I did not let that derail me and let me go into a whole app spiral being like, you know what, this isn't working. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing any movement. The movement that I'm getting is backwards. This isn't what I wanted. So I took all that and I threw it in the trash. I was like, I just looked at it and decided, you know what, bridge of incidents. Bridge of incidents. And this does not mean that I'm doing anything wrong. On the contrary, it just means movement is movement at the end of the day. And everybody's bridge of incidents is going to look so much more different mm-hmm. than for anybody else. Some people get no movement whatsoever, then boom, full um, manifestation. Or some people get backwards. And when people start to get backwards movement, I feel like that's when they start to get hysteric and they start to yep. stop. Because they're like, this isn't what I wanted. You know what? This is all a load of BS. And I was like, nope. 
I decided, and that's what I was so happy with because I decided I was like, you know what, I not getting any movement to like going into like backwards. I kind of thought about it as a GPS system. Yeah. As in, like, you know, when you have a GPS system and you take the wrong turn, it does not make you go backwards. It's just keep leading you forward. Yeah. So that's what I thought about it. And because it inspired me of one of your analogies. And I was like, oh, my God, like, this is what I'm going to take it as. So yeah. then I kept persisting and, like, the fact that, nope, we were still together, things like that. I and love then that. I did not. And then I started getting a little bit of movement from him um, just because of his family members, too. Like, my sister-in-law, she would come and text me. Um, he was, like, looking at my TikTok, and I was like, what is up with this man? All right? And then, okay. On August 17th, his sister-in-law texted me saying, like, hey, like, um, like my SP's name is, like, mm -hmm. you know, he's, like, having a really tough time you know etc cetera, etc cetera, with this whole with the whole thing of himself like um and plus the breakup has really affected him and she was just telling me how much she had like missed me how much she was like wanting to see me and all this type of stuff and i was just like okay and i had remember receiving it and i was right. like this is like still movement however it was not movement specifically from him correct but it was still movement somewhere else but um i was still blocked and we were still in no contact right yep so then later on on saturday i was in my kitchen and i kind of had when i woke up that morning the feeling was so surreal like i don't know how to explain it to you the feeling of like i had shifted completely yeah and i woke up and i was like in my I house know. right and i was just making my coffee making myself some breakfast and um i kind of had my door open right because it was raining mm -hmm. and i really love the rain so that tell me why like i see somebody in my in my like porch yep and i'm like and i see them holding flowers and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I wasn't expecting nobody. I was, I didn't yeah. get any calls and emails of anybody that like, coming over. So I kind of like peeked out and I'm like, and it looks familiar. I'm like, I know that, I know that, I know that body. And I walk up to the door and I hear him call out my name. And I'm like shook. Like I'm standing in my kitchen, about to make my coffee. And I'm just like shook. Cause I'm like, is this man really at my house right now? Yeah. And at that moment I was like, this is it yeah this is it like it's it's here it's it's already unfolding yeah like oh my god my persistence and paid I off through the door you're yeah my persistence paid off and i walk up to the door and it's him and he's kind of like not soaking wet but he's kind of a little bit wet and then he's like hey like can i come in can we talk and i'm like okay so i let him in and then he's telling me about how like he doesn't care about anything else. He doesn't care about my parents. He just genuinely, if he knows that I'm the one that he wants to spend the rest of his life with, that these past few um, weeks have been horrible, not being able to talk to me, and that just being away from me was not it anymore, and that he could not do it, and that he had told me that he's willing to give my parents a second chance if they're willing to work with him and like have that mutual connection. And I was there sobbing. I have not seen this man and all the moments that, that I was getting was backwards and then the yeah. 180 that I had said earlier he did a complete other 360 at this point <laughs> and he was he got down on one knee and he pops up the ring and gorgeous ring oh my god I oh, love it. if you're in my Facebook group you've seen the ring and it is stunning stunning and I said my eyes out and he was like will you marry me and then end of the day we just spent the whole day together but some of the things that i was thinking about with the whole concept of the trilogy yeah was um the fact that a lot of people also stay stuck because they assume that they're doing everything wrong that nothing's working for them that they're not seeing movement yeah. and because they continue to persist in that same assumption is because that's another reason why they're staying so stuck because yep. they're affirming they're affirming for that they're literally affirming um, for their stuckness and their incorrectness yeah, yeah. and I had to change that too with the whole um, 
trilogy was assuming that I'm always doing everything right. There's no such thing as doing anything wrong. And then another one that I added was that I cannot fail. And that I also added another one that things are always happening behind the scenes. And then a other really good one that I had put was somehow, some way, I always get whatever it is that I desire. Mm-hmm. And just with those in play, as long as with self-concept and also the assumptions about your person, also that's talked about in the book. Like I said, I didn't have a negative story about him, so I didn't really need to worry about that part. Right. It's just mostly those two. And that's, I feel like, what brought me truly in as well as also understanding, I know you. I know that you have always talked about who you are. That takes what you're attracting. Yep. And that did not. It did not click with me at all until I was kind of journaling, and then I realized that, holy crap, you know, like I can just easily shift into the state of already being that person in the relationship and really living towards the end, and that shift is the shift that I made the night before um, I got engaged exactly yep and that's when I also had talked about it in your Facebook I posted about it and I was like oh my god holy crap and then this happened and I was just like oh my god I oh love it god. and yeah and my parents I had called them about the engagement and this is a cherry on top okay this is a cherry on top my parents they're like can you come over and I had looked over at my partner and I was like, are you going to be okay with this? Because I don't live with my parents or anything like that. So um, he was like, yeah, it's okay. And they had came over and my mom and my dad were crying, sobbing their eyes out. They were just congratulating us and like That's how nice. happy they were for us and that they were really sorry about everything that they were, that everything that they said and done and that they genuinely just want to have like a second chance with us. Yeah. And that they want to be a part of our lives and that they're going to be supportive and that they're going to do better for us. And I feel like, yes, getting my SP back was great. However, that was honestly just a cherry on top. Yeah. And now I look at the relationship and it feels so much more different and it's, it's yeah. amazing and it's great and it's all thanks to you <laughs> and your page and your teachings and your whole Oh my the God. equation, the process, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Science, like, you yeah. know, like you ever see Snoop Dogg get on that stand and he's like, I want to thank me for putting in all this hard work. I want to thank me mm -hmm. for having no days off. That's the energy you need mm -hmm. to embody before coming into my world. Otherwise, there's no amount of coaching programs or anything that you buy that will help you. Until you're ready to be like, I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for the discipline to actually get and keep my desire. You got to come in with the mindset of, I refuse to take anything less. I know we only have about like seven minutes and I'm going to try to postpone this or like not postpone it, but keep it going for as long as I can. And until like my my manager comes and appears on this zoom then I'll have to let you go but I'm going to try to continue it for as long as I can and who knows maybe he's going to be like five minutes late that would be great okay. right now <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is yeah. that there's a lot of really good key things in here one she had no evidence that things were working out in her favor she still persisted anyway two she came to a crossroads where do I want to keep validating the stories and telling the stories that make me feel disconnected disempowered away from my truth away from what I want or do I want to benefit from everything I have ever desired and the choice became very simple you either want it or you either don't and I know that that may seem harsh for some people but believe me when I say I after helping people in more than a hundred countries tens of thousands of individuals get what they want the one thing I will not do is mislead or lie to you about what it takes. You are required to see your situation and yourself differently if you want it. If you're unwilling to do that, there isn't a way where we can think negative and get positive. So you have to start whipping yourself a little bit. You have to start holding yourself accountable a little bit more. How bad do you want it? Because some people say, I want it so bad. I want it so bad. But everything they're doing is going against what they want. Where are we negatively contributing to staying stuck? 
Everything is a choice. You can choose to tell that story or you can choose to tell another one. So that's another wonderful point. Another point that came up is that she had no contact. She had no nothing. She still persisted anyway. She didn't believe it. She still activated the story she wanted to. She had intrusive thoughts. She redirected her thoughts towards what she wanted. She got the resources that she needed to be able to help her get further. First, she got the journal, then she got the ebook, all of these teachings that she's citing. You can get the journal. The ebook is no longer available. The ebook is now embedded into Manifestation University. So that's where you can get not only those teachings, but 10 times more teachings that teach you the exact process to go from identifying limiting beliefs to shifting them to keeping them. So that way you can attract what you want really fast. There's so much gold in what she did, but the one thing I want to highlight, she refused her current reality. She refused it and she had the guts to refuse it when there was no evidence to believe positively. This girl had no evidence to believe positively if you heard any part of her story. She had the chips stacked against her. She still refused it and she still chose a new story. So remember, the only person we have to blame for the results that we don't have is ourself. We have to be disciplined. We have to you know, make sure that we're doing everything possible to get what we want or sit down and have hard conversations that do I maybe not really want to, or maybe I can't change this assumption. Maybe this is just too stuck and I'm going down an avenue that I have a limitation. I can't see my parents differently. I can't look at myself differently because that will always be required. If you're not capable or willing to see yourself differently or see your situation differently, there is not a way to think negative and get positive. I can't hold a negative story to be true and get a positive one. Hang on, my guy's here. Two seconds, hang on. Don't say anything please right now. I'm live. Shh. Love you, okay, thank you, two uh, seconds. You. Hang on, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, hang on one second. Oh, he can't yeah, see me. Good. That's what it is. One second, one second. All right, I am going to let you go and I am going to um, talk to you very soon. Unfortunately, I have my manager looking at me, so I have to let you go. But we're going to continue okay. this live a little bit later. Okay. This was such a great success story. I hope you guys feel so motivated and so empowered and so confident because this is so... This is such a great story and I just love it so much. There's so much to learn from it. I'm going to repost it on my YouTube so you guys can rewatch it. If you want to get a strategy call or anything else, the link is in my bio and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. My love, I will talk to you very soon. Okay.